Hi everybody, today's chapter is called Maximal Density and this is actually something I learned from uh, playing music with my band Feed Me uh, like six years ago and how one of my bandmates, Nader, who was the guy who made basically all the songs would go, uh, go about figuring out the flow of the song that would be that we, he comes up with an idea, we jam over it and try to see how what led us to that point and how to go after that, like move forward from there. And yeah, so the whole idea is you layer everything, every single sound you have over each other and then see what could have come before it, what should come after it and so on. So... This is, <clears throat> so this is everything in this uh, song. Let me open the groups. And here, yeah. So that's pretty much everything. Okay, now let's listen to it. Yeah. So, of course, I don't think that there will be any section of the song where everything is playing together. But this is just to get ideas. And the first idea I got is to reach something. I want a cup, something steady, something that goes with the bass and the drums. So I made up this line with my Volca keys and connected it via MIDI here. Yeah, here. This is how you do it. MIDI to the sound card and then audio back from the sound card and then you can play it like pretty much any instrument. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, let's listen to it now with the beta did on the Volca. <laughs> Okay, so that's not bad. Now I need to strip it down a bit just to get more focus. So here is like the song in its simplest form. So that could be like uh, 
somewhere in the middle where the song quiets down or maybe at the very beginning. Here is the same bit, but <clears throat> sorry, I added a couple of things to it, like these f fans and sounds like the field recordings and the reversed vocals. <laughs> Okay, and if you remember, this is the same song I used in the first two creating variation chapters. So I have about eight variations of the keys, eight of, or nine of each, and of the bass. And so that gives me flexibility of options to use later. And then I wanted to create another part, which would be a little bit more of a build up to here. So I went back to the Volcas and came up with this. <laughs> So let's try putting this last part with this part. Okay, let's listen to that. I haven't listened to that before, so it might sound horrible, but let's try. <laughs> Okay, so what we notice is that they go into each other pretty quick. So we can kind of build up to that. So let's move this maybe here. Get that here. Maybe that will work. Okay, so that still doesn't work quite well, but now I have an idea of, well, an outline of an idea of how to make it work in a way. So yeah, uh, that's basically it. And you have to remember that this is not for arranging. This is for coming up with ideas that will help you get to the point where is the peak of the song. And I think there's a chapter in the next couple of days which will be about how to use it to arranging of <clears throat> for arrangement and the idea of the flow of the song or the arc of the song. So, yeah, uh, that's basically it for today and I'll see you tomorrow.